Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Sales Person. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about Winter 25 new feature for Flows. Okay, so if you want to learn these new feature and you want to implement these new features in your org, so please watch this video until end and don't skip any part of this video if you want to learn these new features. Okay, and I request to you all, I observe most of the people just watching the video and uh, without subscribe the channel. So I request to you all, please don't do this like that. Okay, because this is the only way you can support me. Please do like, share, comments and subscribe the channel. Also, you can turn on the bell icon for more updates. So you never be miss any kind of update from my side. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, let me show you the first feature. So first feature is build good flows with new tips. Okay, so now with the help of tips, we can easily recognize, uh, okay. So how we can implement in our org? Let me show you here. Let me log in into my Salesforce org. So now you can see my this is my Salesforce org. And under here, just click on this create. And here you can see the flows. And once you clicked on this flows, now you can see the flows here. Right? It's a flow builder. And from the scratch, click on the next. And the screen flow, create this one. Okay. Now this is the template like like that so how we can implement this uh, tips one how to build the good flow using tips okay so just click on this plus icon select here let's say create okay or let's say get element first of all i get element okay and now let me select like get account okay get account something like that and which object account object okay so this is the account I'm not giving any condition, so make it as a none. Okay. And all accounts like that. Okay. After that, after that, you have to use like loop. Okay. I will show you the tips how we can easy understand these all things. So immediately, once you select the any element, as uh, we did like uh, some mistake. So Salesforce flow tips automatic showing here, like this close each loop, something like that. Also, you can add something like that. Let's say get account from loop, something like that. Okay. Now, our collection is this one and first element, something like that. Okay. After that, this is the bad practice. Like, uh, don't use any DML operation inside the loop. Okay. So, how we can easily recognize using this flow? So, just click on this plus icon and here you have to use, let's say, update element and I want to update it. And now let's say update account, something like that. Okay. And now here you can see the current element. Immediately you can see here tips. Once you clicked on these tips, immediately you can see avoid using database element inside a loop. Please observe this one. And you can easily understand these all information given by the Salesforce. So this is the bad practice. Okay. So don't use any DML operations. Let's say insert, create, update, delete element inside the loop. So that's why you can see the tips. Okay. So this is the first feature. You can uh, use this feature in your org as well because this is a very good feature. Okay. So let's see in the next feature is. So next feature is error and warning menu. Okay. So in the you know menu bar, you will be see one icon like this. And this icon contain two things. One, one is error and warning. And based on this one, we can easily recognize which one have some error or not. So how we can see in this feature in our org so just let me open my org so under here right so this is the one okay so here you can see the icon once you click on this icon immediately you can see the errors and warning two section right two tabs like that but we don't have any error and warning so let me make it like warning so under here let me add some you know accent let's say this accent okay under this accent i can use any accent as we have let's say bad job okay and this is the bad job and let's say demo something like that okay and i don't want to give any job id that's why okay and try to save this and let's say winter winter 25 something like that click on the save so once you save it immediately you can see here this uh, you know warning or uh, you know error icon here so once you mouse over, immediately you can see show error. Once you clicked on this one, immediately you can see the error uh, tab have one error, like a demo. 
demo action enter a value for the batch job id require parameter so end user easily understand what is the what is the problem in my flow so problem is here you have to give the batch id here okay batch job id so this is the very good feature and also warning if something is happening in our flow warning will be appear here okay and same thing for the error we already seen this error if something is missing or something is happening as wrong so that will become here in these two tabs so this is a very good feature you can try in your org let's see the next feature is updated save menu so this is the new feature in the menu bar you will be see this option like save as a new version and once you click on this drop down save as a new flow so these two options you will be see in your org how we can see that let me open my org so now immediately here you can see this option here right like save as a new flow and once you clicked on this drop down you will be see another option that is save as a new flow okay this is the version this is the new flow so you can do these things or you can leverage this feature inside your org so it's a time saving process you can make it as a new version or you can make it as a new flow instead of you know going to the salesforce setup and you know make it as a new version or new, new flows something like that okay so this is the also new feature please consider these things let me open the next feature so next feature is send email enhancement cc and bcc so in the send email you will be see two option one is bcc recipient address list you have to enable it and another is cc recipient address list you have to enable it if you want to make it as bc bcc and cc something like that so how we can see so let me open my org so under here in the action let me close this and let me add another action and please keep in your mind i'm not doing any you know uh, real time example or something like that so please don't be consider like that we not uh, i'm not covering any you know uh, real time example this is not a you know good example something like that so don't we think like that this is only for the future enhancement or you know what is the new feature regarding the flow so based on new feature you can implement based on your requirement okay so uh, i'm going to show you only the new feature not implementation or something like that new uh, real cases or uh, real time scenario something like that okay don't don't think too much like that okay so now here under here in the plus you have to search like action click on the action let's say email send email once you click on the send email immediately scroll down here and now these two option is available here one is bcc and another is ccc here you can see so if you need like bcc or ccc recipient address you have to enable this feature and you can leverage this feature so you have to enable like that and like that and you have to enter the bcc email address list if if you have like one one or more than one you know bcc recipient address you can make it as a collection and you can use it here based on the email ids collections okay so this is the new feature okay so let's see the next feature is choice lookup supports multiple options so how we can see this one so this is the new feature Mul choice lookup have multiple option to select the multiple values at a time so how we can implement these things so let me open my org close everything under this plus icon let me add the screen let's say demo screen something like that or demo we already given so make it as a one under here you have to search like choice lookup here you can see the new options to use these new values so this uh, option is already there but uh, this is the enhancement feature so you can drag a drone like that and make it like a, a sports something like that okay and now here you have to give the value like choices so new choices you can make it let's say choice and let's say cricket okay let me copy this paste it here in the default one like cricket and the text click done this is the one value another value uh, let's say new choice resource it's a choice and let's say football okay so you can make it uh, like choices like that click done this is the football let me add another one let's say hockey create this hockey one now hockey right so click on done save this flow and once you uh, save this flow now you have to so you have to 
uh, once you done with your you know values you have to change this let's user select multiple options so you have to enable it like yes click on done make it as a save and you have to debug your flow click on this debug and once you debug this flow immediately you will be see lots of value inside this one so here this is the first value second value and third value you can see that this so choice lookup have multiple selection value here one by one you can make it as a close and you can select again like that so you can select multiple value at a time so this is the new feature okay so guys please uh, do let me know which feature you like mostly okay in the comment section so it will be helpful for us okay so let's see the next feature is so next feature is flow action button are generally available so how we can see that very simple and very easy how we can see in our org let me open my org so under here right so this is the screen under the, this screen immediately you can see the you know action button is generally available here and you can just drag and drop anywhere like that and this is the action button here you can see so this is the new feature so this is the generally available previously it was in beta version so now it is generally available you can leverage this if you don't know about this feature how, what is this feature you can watch my earlier video regarding this uh, action button you will be get to know more about it okay so let's see the next feature is no more auto naming convention so how we can see that previously it was very you know tricky or we can say that bad feature given by the sales force now in this release winter 25 no more auto naming because once you enter something here right it's automatic comes here but uh, at the time of you know uh, taking any standard element let's say create update delete any dml one so it's automatic comes like uh, create records by default and it's uh, like label as well uh, api as well okay it, it was previously like that but for now in this release there is no more auto naming convention so how we can see that so under here in the create element or let me add the create element or any element as you have like create element once you click on this one immediately you cannot see any auto naming convention previously it was automatic uh, uh, you know appear here like create record something like that but in this release you cannot see any auto naming convention okay this is the another feature let's see and now immediately you can see the some mistake happening in this flow warning also coming here okay and error also coming here we have three problem in this flow like two error one warning that's why you can see the total is three this is another feature as well let's see the next feature option to disable action button so how we can use this okay so this is another feature like uh, action button we already seen like uh, this is the generally available but how to disable it so this new feature or new property will be available here so how we can see that let me open my o under here in the screen one let me add the action button under the action button you can see the disable one so you can make it as a true false based on your requirement boolean property and you can make it as a you know enable or disable so this is the new feature like disable so, so please keep in your mind this one this is the new feature okay let's see the next feature is making look of component disable so how we can see this very simple and very easy way we can make it as a disable and enable it okay so you have to create you have to just drag and drop your lookup component provide the api name of the object as object and uh, related you know api name here label and object api name this is child one and this is a true and false this is a global variable make it as a disable enable how we can see that in our org let me open my org so under here you have to search like lookup lookup just drag and drop this lookup so now you can see the disable okay so you can select here let's say account for example purpose like account and account id label like account okay something like that object name like contact for now right and uh a contact and this is the disable right now like false click on done action button just leave it uh, in this one click on the save we have to check this uh, lookup one that's why click on the debug and once you debug it now click on run now immediately you can see this one like account 
test and Burlington, something like that. So this is the uh, enable feature right now. Let me make it as a disable this one. So now here you have to make it as a true false based on your need. So just click on this one, make it as a true, this one like true and now click on done, save this. Okay, once you save it, now click on this debug. And once you click on this debug, click on run. Now immediately you can see our lookup is disabled. Okay, now lookup is disabled. So this is the new feature regarding this winter 25 release. Okay, let's see the next feature is. So this is the new feature like view schedule flows limit in debug details. So if you have like schedule or schedule flow, so once you debug it, immediately you can see the schedule trigger flow effect affected batches of the record your or can run to five zero 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 schedule trigger flow per day. So this is the limit here. Okay, you can check out these things once you create any schedule trigger flow. Okay, so this is the new feature. Let's see the next feature is absurd multiple records. Okay, so this is the also new feature. You have to enable it and at the runtime you can make it as a create record element using the specified fields like record id external id standard field and you can proceed okay so let's see in the action so in the org okay in the org let me add here yeah so this is the new feature once you select any you know how many records you want to create let's say multiple you can see the new one like update existing record so you have to enable it once you enable it immediately you can see this feature like update existing record using record id external id standard field and what to do if a create or update files okay you can make it as a process success record or process no record something like that so based on your requirement you can select this feature this is another new feature let's see the next feature is find flow child resource more easily okay so this is the way let's say you want to create some record based on the object like contact and you you already created some resources right and based on that resource you can easily find out like first name last name email for this contact fields so how we can see this one let me open my oh now in this screen let me add a, you know like a text field so just you can select it let's say text let's say first name another one last name for example purpose last name two uh, two fields i want to use click on done after that just select like create create record like create contact something like that and here like multiple or one based on your need you can select like manually once you select like manually you have to select the object like contact like contact and now last name it's automatic appear because of this is the required field this is another feature like automatic selected by the flow builder if anything is required or any required field available on that particular object so now immediately you can see the demo screen under this demo screen i already created like uh, uh, some fields like first name and last name so this is the last name immediately you can see the last name or this is the last name so let me select that last name like last name let me click on the add field and now here like first name so you have to select like first name immediately in the demo screen you can see the first name so this is the best way to check this feature like first name here now you can see the first name right so find flow ch child resources more easy so this is a new easiest way to find out this one okay so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comment subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my site and please stay tuned i will be update lots of new video regarding regarding this winter 25 release so thank you thank you so much for your time and See you again. Bye-bye. Take care. See ya.